some of the equipment that's necessary for turkey hunting, I tell everyone, uh, even more so than deer hunting, is get yourself a, a decent pair of binoculars. You're going to use these a lot because most people when they turkey hunt, you know, the first one or two you shoot, you might be satisfied to shoot a Jake, but uh, most people want to shoot a Tom, a mature male bird, and the binoculars will give you a better idea of uh, what that bird's got for a beard, and uh, if it is a Tom, if it's a long distance away when it first comes in the field, or at the edge of the woods, depending on where you hunt. Uh, so have yourself a good pair of binoculars and use them, and uh, you'll, you'll be glad that you had them. We've got uh, several different calls here. I'll just show a few of the different ones that we use today. Uh, like I said, I'm on the pro staff of Top Gun Game Calls, and we, we push Top Gun Game Calls. They're a good call. Uh, don't pay any attention to the ugly face on there. That's me, and that's, uh, that's not that pretty, but it's a beautiful call, and it works good. I actually, the bird that's on there was a 23-pound bird that we shot uh, two years ago, and we called it in with the Top Gun uh, box call. Another call that Top Gun has is a, I call it a plunger type. It's a little box. I like this one for when they get in uh, really close. You can just uh, cut it on the wrong end. Take this thing and plunge it a little bit. And uh, try to keep it down because they can even see that little motion just moving your hand like that. But uh, today when I was using it, Caleb was actually in front of me. And uh, I had it behind his back so they couldn't see it. But when the bird's getting close, I like to purr with this thing and it, and it works really well. Uh, the main call that we used today though was a, was a box call. And uh, with this, you can be as aggressive as you want to be. You know, sometimes I leave a pile of wood chips underneath me, but most of the time, uh, less calling is better. One of the things that you learn about turkey calling is you don't want to overcall uh, because sometimes that, that warns the birds and scares them away. Uh, but when they're a long distance away, I usually bark on it pretty good <coughs> to get them to come in. But then as they're getting closer, again, you can make it as loud or as soft as you want, but you can make it kind of purr. And these, uh, this particular, this is an old Tom Talker. That works pretty good even when it gets wet. Uh, you try to keep your calls dry if you can, but uh, another, another really good call. The other call that we use today, and a lot of people uh, don't like to use one, uh, I'd make sure that you didn't have any unsafe hunters around you before you used it because it does, uh, it imitates a gobble call. Uh, but we had a couple of times today that we couldn't get birds to turn and come in until we used this. And basically you just push in on it and it sounds like a turkey goblin. Another piece of equipment that we found out that you need today because they'll spot you is uh, make sure you got a, a face net. A lot of people hunt turkeys without a face net. They have full camo, they have the jacket and the pants and the hat, uh, but they don't wear a face net. And your face is a big white blob to those turkeys and they pick it out. So get yourself something that, uh, I like the screen ones because they help you breathe better. If it's a solid, you get kind of hot and sweaty in there, but uh, get a screen model and uh, make sure that you've got it in such a way that you can see really well and uh, those work really well. Another question that was asked uh, when these guys showed up at camp about uh, hunting turkeys was they want to know what they should use for a shotgun and what they should use for shot. A lot of people think that bigger is always better uh, and I found that the most important thing in your turkey gun is that it has a tight choke so that it has a tight pattern and Whatever size shot your shotgun patterns the best is what you should use. Some shotguns like number two shot, but some don't. Uh, I actually do most of my turkey hunting with either number fives or number sixes. 
They pattern a lot better than the two particular guns that I use. And uh, so I just recommend to everyone before you go out to hunt, dr either draw yourself a, a turkey target or you can buy them at Walmart or wherever and set them up at different ranges, 20, 30, 40 yards and pattern your shotgun. Shoot at the target. Uh, you should always aim at the head neck area on turkeys if you want to make a clean kill. They're a big bird and if you shoot them in the body they can carry off a lot of shot. So aim, I usually aim just below their head but you try to either break their, break their neck or hit them in the head and six or eight number five pellets in that area are going to be a lot more effective than one number two. Uh, so like I said, pattern your shotgun and if the uh, larger shot sizes, the heavier shot, if they don't pattern well in your gun, uh, use something for a different size shot and just use whatever works uh, particularly well in your gun. I think my last uh, tip is make sure you have fun. Uh, I'm not sure if I mentioned it before, we didn't actually kill a turkey today, but we got a lot of good footage for the show and we don't always kill turkeys. Uh, the success rate on turkeys is much better than it is deer and if you go out through the course of the season you're probably going to get your bird. Uh, we could have shot some jakes today, uh, immature males, but we kind of had our hearts set on a big tom and we got some in reasonably close but just not quite close enough to make a clean kill. But it was still a great experience. We took two young kids out. Like I said it was youth day uh, the state has been good enough to give the Saturday before the regular season uh, any child under 16 uh, or young man under 16 can go out uh, and hunt with an adult. Uh, he has to have adult supervision but it gives them a chance to be introduced to the sport without competition from other hunters uh, and just make sure that uh, while you're out there that you practice uh, safety. Uh, the big issue for me uh, running my sporting camps is I always tell everyone that uh, it's great to get out in the woods and have a good time, but the first time you have a bad accident, uh, it's just, it'll wreck it for you for life. So always make sure that safety is a priority. Uh, always have them check in their safety, make sure they keep their guns pointed in a safe direction, and uh, just make a day of it. You can hunt until noontime now in Maine on turkeys, and uh, it's just, it's a fun time. The weather's decent. It was supposed to rain today, but it held off for us, and the weather was quite comfortable. Had a great time, saw a lot of game. We saw deer as well as turkeys, uh, and everybody had a good time, so it was a success.